What's up, YouTube? This is 2 Raw 4 TV. So apparently, Saturday Night Live cast member Pete Davidson, Mr. Kim Kardashian, uh, will be leaving Saturday Night Live after this season's finale episode. All right. And that should be uh, probably, what, today? I don't follow the show as much as I used to. Today or next week? But anyway... He's going to be leaving, as well as, I think, three other cast members. It's going to be a mass exodus. He's leaving. Longtime Saturday Night Live cast member Kate McKinnon is leaving. A.D. Bryant, and I think the other guy's name is Kyle Mooney. All will be leaving Saturday Night Live. Now, I don't really watch that show anymore. The last episode that I really watched, to be honest with you, was the one Dave Chappelle host. Um, matter of fact, the last few episodes I really watched were the last two <laughs> that Dave Chappelle hosted. I think it was, what, a year ago or something. And, t uh, uh, the, the one that came on immediately after the 2016 election that he hosted and the one Eddie Murphy hosted. Um, just a generational thing, man. You know, I don't really find the humor of today that funny. When I watched Saturday Night Live, it was two different, um, uh, Generations. I remember I used to watch Saturday Night Live in the late 80s on Nick Ignite when they used to show the, the original run from 1975 to 80, the Not Ready for Primetime cast members, Chevy Chase, Dan Aykroyd, uh, John Belushi, Jane Curtin, Garrett Morris, Lorraine Newman, Gilda Radner. And I used to watch that Chevy Chase, I haven't said him, he was on for the first season, then he left, and probably one of the worst career moves he ever made. I used to watch them, didn't understand all the references, but that's why <laughs> I grew to understand certain things even back then when I was eight, nine years old. And then, of course, I started watching the current cast at that time from 1990 to about 98, 99. Uh, I would watch, you know, I liked Chris Farley, uh, 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 Rob Schneider, Chris Rock when he was there briefly. Um, uh, 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 Mike Myers, Dana Carvey, Phil Hartman, uh, Adam Sandler, if I haven't said him. You know, I used to watch it then. Rig I mean, re religiously, I used to watch Saturday Night Live. Um, you know, some people considered those guys lowbrow humor and shit, but hey, it is what it is. When you're a teenager, you know, it's funny watching uh, Chris Farley and Mike Myers and shit. But now I don't really watch it. But at least he has the good sense to know it's time to go. Unlike fucking Keenan Thompson, who it got to be about 20 years now that this guy's been on the show. At least since 2003. I mean, good gracious, man. Go, man. That show, that show, Saturday Night Live, was not constructed for a cast member to be there that damn long. I remember they was, they was chiding, uh, what's his name? Um, he had been there 10 years. Uh, Tim Meadows. Tim Meadows had been there for, I think he was there from 1990 to 2000. And it was like, you know, time for you to go, Tim. I mean, you came in as a young pup. You still there. And the generation that was there when you got there, they've all moved on. Time to go on. This thing of Keenan Thompson is just, then again, I don't really find him that funny. You know what I'm saying? I didn't find him funny back then. When I was still sporadically watching Saturday Night Live, and I still don't find him funny. And I don't like the way that he did his former co comedian partner, his comedy partner, uh, Kel uh, Mitchell. You know, I don't, I don't like the way he did him. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, tell me what you guys think if you follow Saturday Night Live and aware of Pete Davidson.